Swap and Battle Hammer here, once again bringing you more gaming goodness than you can throw a half soggy dog at. So today we're carrying on with <laughs> County Road Z. Now, for all of you that watched the last video, thank you. That's a lot of love for that one, so cheers. So yes, I mean, I did do a few things wrong with the rules, but it's always the same when you're learning a new game. Um, and I prefer to learn a game with you guys watching, so you can go, oh, me, 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 just to vent your frustration, so I can then just ignore all your comments. Um, but no, seriously, um, I made it harder for myself, obviously, by rubbing it a lot. No, no, by getting some of the rules wrong, which meant my my little group of survivors are in a whole fucking world of trouble. So I've already worked it out, taking notes, etc., etc. Um, so with everyone wounded, quite badly, it means. I ain't gonna get be getting bugger all done for a while. So what I've done is, even though you people are still wounded, they can still contribute to the um, building of the resources, etc., etc., etc. So I worked it out that on the first, on the end of that turn, I, I kind of put um, Rocco, Rico, Rico to bed to try and heal, um, and then I had others working on the garden. Um, blah, 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 blah. I'm, I'm trying to squint it out. Put me fun glasses on so I can see. Twat. Oh. So, um, yeah, Rico's in bed rest. Helen and Ella started work on the garden. Uh, Mo was building an extra bed. So I managed to have all the resources and labour to get those bits started. <sighs> Feeding, however, ends up costing me like seven food, and the house, even though it came, it came with everything, that's only four food. So already I was struggling for food. So take that into consideration. Carried on working out. Um, so the hunger scores at minus three, and my unrest was at three because I had not enough beds. No siege threat, which was lucky. So that meant like the next turn. Oh, I sent Mixie scavenging as well. That's the new girl. Uh, she came back with one food, one hardware, one fuel. So then, that, on my next turn then, again I had like the choice of what to do. So again I sent Mixie out again scavenging. Rico was still in bed healing. I had enough labour and bits to build a fence and a herb plot around the garden, which is now built. My hunger is now down to minus, oh, my, excuse me, minus six. Bed's exhaustion is at, is at two. So it's really not looking good. So at the moment, I'm currently on no hardware, no food, five fuel. Hmm. I will be getting uh, one, two food next turn for the garden and <coughs> the fence around it. <clears throat> Excuse me, and the herb garden will add people getting health, but that still means I've only got two people fully healed and no food. So what I've decided, because once you buy the rules, they're your rules. You can chop and change them as much as you want, and that's what I have a tendency to do. Um, because I've been gaming for so many years, 40, 40, 40 something odd years been gaming, but let's not go into that. What, you don't look, it's true, yes I know. Um, I always have a tendency to end up bringing house rules in, etc, etc. So what I've decided to do is, everyone is going out on this mission because we need food. End of story, I don't care how sick you think you are, you're getting up out of that bed and you're going to get food with us. Um, but what I'm doing is for each health point you are down, it's minus one on all your stats. Simple as that. So that means Ella, Helen and Mo are at minus two to any of the things that they need to roll for because they are feeling shit still. But it's, it's either that or 
we're not getting enough food and even though there's no actual point in the rules where it says you know your people die of starvation and exhaustion etc fucking will be i tell you i think it's been like two sessions now of they've not had enough food and they're like no <laughs> fuck no we need we need to get some grubbiness so <clears throat> what's happened is uh mixie while she was out scavenging she's found what appears to be like an um, edge of town um <clears throat> little delicatessen and a uh, couple of stalls um there were no zeds at the time and she's like okay there's there's enough food stocks here that will help us out so she's come rushing back to the group told rico and he's like right dig everyone out of bed we're going by the time we get back there there's a few zeds around so our group is split up we've got uh rico and mixie one end we've got helen and ella just up the side slightly and uh mo way over there somewhere there is another survivor running around well not running around on the table just lurking and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about eight food resources that we can get hold of. So that's the plan. The plan is to grab the food, try not to wake all the fucking zombies up, um, get the survivor, get the food and get the hell out. That's, that's the plan. Um, if it does go tits up, we will be running. Other plan is to like get the injured people in to grab a food canister each and then bug out with them and leave the two that are healed, which is Mixie and Rico, uh, to try and grab the bulk of it whilst if we have to. So with that in mind, um, let's stop this. I'll go grab the camera and I'll give you a quick tour of the table and then we'll get started. So see you in a minute. Okay, so here we are. This is our setup for today. So if we kind of move in, you can see there's an old donut shop there. There's another little building there and building there. The zombies on the roof and the pointy markers, they are, that's, we're calling that's the inside of the building. So you can see there's a resource and a zombie there, resource and zombie there, and two zombies and a resource in the building. We've got another one there, there, there and there and there's one I think just over there so we have got one two three four five six seven eight resources in total so Rico and Mixie are here by this car we've got Helen and Ella there there's a sneaky little survivor hiding down there hoping at some point he can zip in and grab something but he's too scared but then fortunately there's us a lot up this side road here you can see there's our boy Mo up there so he's only got one zombie to contend with there but remembering that if he does move and make a lot of noise that zombie in the building will hear him and start to head off now I might I am still considering using the alternate move rule that's in my head at the moment which changes the the movement of six the movement of noise six to one point for every inch you move we might try that see how that works i think and so that's that's our setup let's play this game all right so once again without wobbling the camera this time because this is now the fixed one we've got resource there two three four five six seven eight those are our resources we know they're food because i'm looking for food in this particular mission uh, my lot we've got mo up there we've got helen and ella here and we've got mixie and rico just lurking right on the edge of the playboard it's only the, the 30 in the middle right on the edge and we've got another survivor who Helen's going to try and nab there so with all of that taken into account got me rule book handy not that I should need to read it go to it very often because it's a 
fairly simple system which I actually really like um, but then again it's me so <laughs> right then I will be taking photos as I go obvs because you lot for some reason like all the photos but then again they are awesomely gorgeous so right then so each person if I remember correctly has one activation and they get two actions so let's start with let's go with Mo who's all the way up around there move of six so where's my six inch winky there it is Now remembering that it's along the line of his movement where he will trigger things. So if I do move from here to that window, I am not going to trigger anything. So that's good. So he's going to move to there. So it doesn't trigger anything because there's nothing along that line of movement to trigger which is six inches, remember, if you're using the six inch rule, then that's six. And then he's going to break, breaking an entry because he can get through that window. Because I do believe, I hope, he's got enter, which he does at one, which means he can get through windows, etc. How much is that dog in the No. How much does a breaking, just need a little cheat sheet with those on, the break numbers. Uh, break, 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 break. Shouldn't need to refer to the book, he says. Break, 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 come on. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Scavenger resource token, no, not quite, not yet. Shove, climb, evade. Well, where the bleeding hell is that then? Enter, there you go, noise zero. Well, that's lovely, isn't it? That's lovely. So, he gets to the window. Dun, 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 dun. And then he will break. So he's into the building, right by the resource, and old zombie balls there. Still hasn't noticed me. Nice. Right then. So Helen and Ella. Now, I've said minus two to everything, so that will in fact be their move as well, because they're not well are they so that'll be a move so that zombie will become active or will it because she has got sneak or stealth remember so we'll move her to there and then we roll to see if old zombie boy notices her and it's got a detection of da, 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 four so 42 da, 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 da. oh and then you fucking hell I've just seen something oh that's a lie then it says break here noise eight well make you bleed mind up Oh, that's break. I've got noise. Uh, enter. They're two different things. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Phew. Um, what was I looking for? Stealth. Target number of the check is the zombie's detection skill. Detection of a uh, passive zombie is four. So as long as Helen can get over four with her plus three which she does. Guess that, that that zombie doesn't react. That's her first action. Her second action will then be 
Just move that bush out of the way. I only bushes now, they don't detract from movement or anything, they're just here to make things look sexier. She will then move to there. So that's her two actions. Ella will attempt to do the same. So first action will get to there. That zombie was in detection range. Ella is on plus one. One plus seven is plenty good enough. That zombie's still... Uh, she will then move to there. That's all well and good thus far. Now, down to these two. So, if she, if Mixie moves six to there, that's a straight line along there, nothing is on route. See, that's where I was doing it wrong last time. I was then going from here, but it's not. It's along the route. So her first action gets her to there. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, here's a plan, here's a plan. A second action, she's going to run along to here. Because that will make that zombie active. Because she hasn't got stealth. So, let me just grab the box of zombies. Let's face it, everybody needs a box of zombies. And change that zombie over for an aggressive one. That's action, it becomes aggressive. B, aggressive, B, E, aggressive, B, E, A, G, G, R, E, S, S, I, V, E, stop it. That then leaves Rico. And, yes, Ted, exactly. Oh, Ted's asleep behind me as usual. And then Rico is going to move to there for one action. Again, nothing along his route. And then, then he is just going to, uh, no, he's going over here as well because that zombie's going to move, isn't it? He's going to just, whoosh, over to there. So that's all of the good guys done. Hello, you. What? What do you want? I'll fucking kill you both. Oh, you're not zombies. And these two have just run across here. So, with the end of our turn, it comes to the zombies uh, tactical. And also the end of turn. I just need to get to that page as well because if there's no aggressives on the table, well there is, so that's okay. So check for aggressive zombies, activate them one at a time so they've all been activated. No zombie can be activated twice in a single turn phase. Single end turn phase, sorry. And then we spawn. Yeah, so we spawn one zombie. Right then, so, with my other sheet of paper that I printed off, which gives me the instructions for the zombies, woohoo! So, this zombie here, check for contact. Is he in contact? No. He will attack, blah, blah, blah. If he's, uh, blah, blah, blah. If he's activated, if he was activated in the end turn phase, he's in contact with multiple survivors, blah, 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 blah. If he's not in contact with a survivor, it will move towards the nearest survivor that's within its move score plus two. So anyone within eight. Okay, so that is both of those. Uh, walls of gaps and other intervening terrain will be taken, well, not taken into account when checking the range, but they are when you move it. If the survivor is in range, but the zombie's movement is blocked, it'll take you a short route, blah, 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 blah. So, its move is. Duh, 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 six. So it quite happily moves across here into combat with Mixie. Uh, um, none of the others are aggressive, which is awesome, but we now spawn another one. Now the centre point was this table, because I've already measured and worked it all out. So the zombie is going to be going 10, 
that's nice it's 13 inches that kind of way so 13 that away so it's just there on the corner of that building oh dear that's not good so back to heroes swigger tea first Whew. right how do we recruit that survivor that's the first thing do 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 pick up vehicle scavenge resource not yet rescue a stranger whose tier is equal to or greater which it is uh, got to move into contact and use and interact okay so her first action will be to there and then she will interact with him and he's now oh hello thank you for rescuing me i will now come along with you ella will then go see ella's very close to being able to get into there to get that a move is short so what she's going to do first action moves to there you have to roll see if this zombie wakes up it does not her second action will then go to the car where that resource is so again there'll be that zombie again again it does not notice her Ella, you sneaky little care. Just turn that around. So that's good. That's very good. So, Mo, who is in a building surrounded by zombies. Oh, what does it cost to pick up a resource? Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'll write these all out next time so I don't have the bloody resource, resource. Picking up an item, pick up material. Noise zero. That's lovely. So, he's going to very quietly pick up that resource. I shall place it on my character sheet so I know. Oh, it goes on to him. Where is he? Mo. He's not carrying anything else, so he can carry up to uh, one item, which is that. So he's got that. Now, I could, in theory, sneak back out of a window. Oh no, that's evade. Move. Uh, Perform. Enter a vehicle zero. Evade. Ah. Uh, enter. Can be used while in contact with the zombie. Blah 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 blah. So he could, in theory, just sneak back out through that window. Which he will because it's a zero. So he does sneak back out through the window. And that zombie's just standing there looking at him, going, uh worry about that in a minute so rest of my gang okay Mixie is gonna have to punch this here zombie so it's aggressive aggressives have a defense of six She's got a skill of absolutely nout. She's rolled a 10, however. So she has hit it. 
That was it. Does he just roll a hit and if you hit it, you've done a point of damage? That sounds about right, doesn't it? Can't remember. Brain is failing me again today. Damaging capacitation when it's attack hits. So it takes one point of damage. La 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 la. So she's gone, oi! In its head. Killed it. That's one action. Her second action will then be. Now, if she moves, that's going to alert those two zombies in the building. But we're going to go for that anyway. So she's going to move to that item there, which will then wake these two up. Uh, in the building. Oopsie. No, 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 no. Right. Then, Rico. Uh, 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 uh. Rico, Rico, Rico. Barricade the door, that would fuck them up. Because then they'd have to smash through a window, but they, they've got break anyway, so they can just come smashing through the windows. So he's going to move. First action will move him to there, along that line. That one will activate, so that one will move to the window. And then break the window so that you can now come through that window. Is that right? It reacts, it moves, it'll move. Oh, brain, come on! Uh, what's gas on me? Turn his account. So it's technically about there. Oopsie! That's one action. Second action is going to be to turn around and actually go back into it. I don't like the idea of that zombie being free to go stomping around and go after Mixie when she's doing her best to grab stuff. That is our heroes done. So we have one aggressive zombie, which is this one here. It will fight. Uh, three. Does it have any bonuses? I don't think it does, does it? No. Nope. So it's got a three and I've got a defense of six. Hoo -hoo -hoo. I move like a fucking ninja. This one, it's not in contact with anything. So it will then, closest, uh, it smashes out of the window and place it there. <laughs> then, it's a spawn, isn't it? Do, 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 do. No survivors are within move. Middle is passive, check aggressive. If there are no passive zombies on the table, blah, 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 blah. So seven, eight, nine, ten inches. Uh oh. That way. Oh, come on. Literally, Ella gets there, it's all looking good, and then one just crawls out from underneath the bloody car. Cinematic, love it. Right, so. Good guy's turn. So Mixie's first action will be to interact with that. I've got some. Then her second action 
will be to hook her trousers up because you can see her pants for a start. She will then go into combat with that one. Uh, down here, Rico is going to belt the zombie. Rico is on a plus two. Five, six, seven. <laughs> Smashes its face in. That's one action for him. Oh, noise, but it doesn't affect anything because he was the only one making the noise and there was no one there yet. I remember that bit. This next action will be into the building. That's him done. Oh, damn it, Janet. So it doesn't, it isn't making any noise to interact with the re source is it quick 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 rescue a strange barricade door loot down survivor climb the terrain piece I should take pick up materials nothing so Ella will grab that and then oh hello hello and then She's going to move. Now she's going to move to that point there, which means along the path is that one. Doesn't quite get to that one. That box and that one. So I've got two to roll for because of her stealth. Uh, failed on that one. That one hasn't noticed. So all of a sudden this one. Uh oh. Turns round. Oh, I don't know that's a clever or stupid move to be brutally honest, however. However, it is as it is. So Helen and Mo. Well, Mo's all the way over there. Mo can just fucking run. There's still a resource back there, but I can't claim it because Mo can only carry one bleeding thing. So. Okay, Mo is literally just going to run down to there for one action. And then to the back of that car there for his second action. It doesn't really want to get involved at the moment, but push comes to shove. He can probably help out somewhere. Uh, Mixie. So she's going to smash this uh, ear zombie in the face. Ooh, no, she's not. That's a no. And combat. Combat. Do you have a So now. But then, because you have a second attack. Actions. Actions. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I presume you can. Failed attack will always activate the target. Ugh. So she's failed to hit it, so hit will activate and it will attack back. Oh, and it's hitter. That will be one point of damage. Mixy. Oof. Right. And that just leaves uh, Helen. How many food have I got at the moment? 
one over there, I've got three. Just try and work out if I've got enough. Three. If I've got enough so I can bug out. However, there's one more over there. Come on, Helen. So Helen is gonna move to there. And then we're gonna see if we can avoid that zombie because that will not become active. And this chap is going to move along with her. <sighs> okay. Okie dokie. Jiggery and or pokey. Zombies go. So we have one active one down here. It will attack. It will not attack. It's rolled a one. Uh, then we will spawn another seven. That's another ten inches. There. Oh, and there's this one. Oh no. He will move to the closest. Which is her. Now, did I read somewhere that if I thought it was somewhere that if a if a uh, aggressive zombie ends up near a thingy zombie, it will wake them up. Or did I just imagine that? Let's have a quick look. Bear with, bear with. Do, 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 do. Blah, blah, blah. Attack survivor. There are no survivors within the zombie's move score plus two. It will move towards the nearest passive zombie. At the end of its move, it will activate all passive zombies within three. But that one is fighting, so that's different. Okay, so that's that. Booger. So, new turn for me. Right, so Rico, first thing, interact with that. Gets that. Second action will then come back out of the building to there. Mm hmm. Yeah, you could move a bit further, but he's not going to. So Mixie is going to attempt to hit that zombie. Two, she's failed, so it will activate and hit her. It's rolled a one. It's failed. As they just flail around at each other. Mixie will attack again. Three, still not enough. The zombie will then go again. Eight will hit her for another point of damage. <gasps> bosh, bosh, bosh. Mm -hmm. Then, um, Mo, Mo, Mo McMowington, who's over here. You could just run off, Mo. Could just run, but he's not. He's going to run into the back of that zombie and punch it in the head for a seven which will kill that zombie it's clear down this street right Ella 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 really needs to get away from that zombie so she is going to evade for her first action now evade, evade, evade. 
Oh. Got to do a tier check. Target number of four plus the number of zombies. So four, five, and she's tier one. So that's six. No. Four. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Easy. Move one inch directly away. So uh, directly away is there. Uh, uh, that really doesn't help. So she's got one action left. Yep. She's going to try to move down to here. So, oh, fuck you. So that's a move of four. So it's going to make him active again. But it's also, also going to wake up that one. So that one's action will be closest, which is her. Now move into her again. She's too busy screaming, isn't she? Yeah, leave me alone now. Get off. Back her off. Um, and then Helen. Oh, Helen, Helen, Helen. First move, we could move into there and bop it. But as I'm at minus two, oh, it's a fifty-fifty. It's a fifty-fifty. Fuck it. So she's going to go into it and then bop it with a one. So she's just turned that one active. I don't got it, I don't got it. No bollocks. And Mickey fucking Mickey McNo mates. Can they do anything? I don't think they can, can they? What's his Rescued survivors. Da, da, da. La 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 la. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Rescue a stranger. Health points equal to their tier level. No skills. They're exhausted, not performing at the best. They'll receive no skills and stats. They'll receive skills and stats next. So he can activate and do shit. So, oh, Jesus Christ, one of my dogs has just let a small smell out and it quite frankly stinks. So he'll move to there and he'll bop it. Six, that's enough to kill the zombie again. Bosh! Right, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Not looking good for the home team at the moment, so... Aggressive zombies go. So this aggressive zombie will fight Mixie. It has hit her. That's another point of damage. Uh oh. Uh, this one will hit Ella. Misses. This one, closest person, it will be her. So it moves into Ella. She is looking like lunch. That is that. Spawn another one. Five, eight inches. Uh, again, that way. So just there. Uh -huh. So. Ah, uh, damn it. I want to keep my survivors alive. So. Rico, first action, 
move into that zombie with Mixie. He will then hit it with a fucking one. Oh dear. It's suddenly gone a lot, Pete Tong. So he's moved and hit. It will then hit. It will then activate and it will hit him. And it has hit him. One point of damage. Do, do, do. Oof. <sighs> Mixie. First action will be to hit that fucking zombie. Hits it. Thank you. Oof. First action. Second action. She could move in to try and help Ella. But she's not. She's running. No. No. Run away. Run away. You know the mission parameters. Get the food and go. Ella. 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 Ella, what are you going to try and do? She could evade. She could do a shove, a shove attack. Shove attack might help us. How far does a shove attack shove them on a shove day? Shove, 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 shove. Tier check with a target number equal to the target's defensive score. Mm, not really helpful. So she's going to try to evade again. So I am on target number of four, six. Adding one, one plus five is six. So it moves her exactly one inch away. Nope. So there. Ba -da -da -dum. Ba -da -da -dum. And then she'll get her move action. I remember doing that she's wounded and everything. So I move her four. So there. But because they're not on her on the line, they don't activate. Just make sure that's right. If I'm moving, and it's not along the six inches to either side of it, they don't activate. <laughs> uh, then, 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 Helen and Nub Nuts. Helen will move to the door. That zombie on the outs on the inside will get to react. No, nope, it doesn't because she's evaded. She's um stealthed her way there. Then her second action will be go a move of one into the building. And the rest of my move to get to there. And she evades, she um, stealths that as well. So she's gone eek, 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 very quietly. Very quietly, she's there. <sighs> okay, and Mo. <whistles> Mo's moving down this side. Right. Zombies turn. So that one will move into there, and that one will do the same because Rico is closer. Uh, no, 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 no. Remember the mission! Uh, no others will activate. Then we spawn another one. 13. Uh oh. 
13 there. Bloop. Right, new turn. So, Helen will interact with that. Then she's going to try to, four inches, get her back to the doorway. Can she sneak past that one? Yes, she can. Rocket man. He will then go, okay, um, out with her. Down here. Mo is going to run that will put him to there which will put him off the table he's safe mixie will get off the table safe ella is pick up not quite off the table but getting there rico will try to hit one of the zombies six seven eight with his higher iron <laughs> hits that one which means that one will then get to react and hit me back. Oof. And then my next action will be to bop that one as well. 10. <coughs> yeah, fucking come on, I'll have you all. Blech. Uh huh. So then it's the monsters go. Now there's no aggressive zombies. So I think that it's, I think, it's the one furthest away. There are no aggressive zombies on turn return. The passive zombie furthest away from any survivor, aggressive. So furthest away from any survivor is that one so that one turns aggressive and it's our go right so ella sprints off the board rico first action he's looking over there making sure that they're safe second action will be off over to these first action for chappy gets him off and there'll be two actions for helen one action gets her to there. Second action gets her off. Whoa! So the group managed to get off and you have goodies. You have goodies. You have goodies. You have goodies and you have goodies. That is what we call in the trade a goody goody gum truck job. Done. There you go. Whew. So we've managed to get ourselves some food. We haven't lost anyone. We've gained a new bloke. That is what we call a bloody good success. Mm -hmm. I still wonder if the zombies, even the passive ones, should activate or become aggressive if, if you're within an inch. just naturally because you know um, I'm going to write that down in my list of things to possibly change uh, move within one inch see what right, the plan with Ella was just to zip round them all but it doesn't matter because she got through so I'm off to now sort out my food and everything and to see if I've still got enough stuff to keep everybody alive. So join us next time when we'll see what the next mission for our group of survivors is and see who the new bloke is. Uh, so I um, hope you enjoyed that. Remember, as usual, you can leave some comments down below. And if the one thing you do before the zombies bite your face off, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you like it, well, subscribe. If you don't like it and don't want to subscribe, you don't have to like and subscribe. But we would like it if you liked and subscribed. And until next time, stay hammered. Do, 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 do.